Hey everyone, it's Anne with The Painting Vine, and today we are going to paint a beautiful sunset background with some jumping dolphins and a coastal scene in front of it. Today's painting is going to be a lot of fun, very easy to do, great for all ages and all skill levels with acrylic paint. So remember, the first thing that we need, I'm going to be using a 16 by 20 canvas. You can purchase these at any one of your craft stores, even Walmart sometimes even has these. You can also use canvas board, but you definitely want it primed for acrylic or oil paints. I'm also using my primary colors of my acrylic. So I've got red, yellow, and blue. I also use white, and we're gonna be using black in this picture as well. So uh, you need a cup of water, maybe some music, something to drink, and once you're ready, we'll get started. Okay, so in this picture, we're going to start out like we always do in all my videos, which is we paint what was created first on Earth. So we're going to start with the sky, and then we're going to add in the water, and then we're going to add in our dolphins, and maybe some palm trees. So the first brush I'm going to be using is my really big one-inch brush, uh, just because I have so much coverage to use on the background, that, that's where I'm going to start. So with sunset pictures, the biggest concern that you need to be aware of is when you mix yellow and blue together, you get green. So if you're going to have a hint of blue in your sky, you need to make sure that there's a buffer zone between that and the yellow. I actually like to use like a purple in the very background so I can keep this orange and yellow a real bright background because our foreground is going to be so dark. Okay? So in order to do that, I'm going to grab a little blue a little red, make that up into a deep purple on my palette, and I'm going to start applying it. I'm applying it to the corners because if you've ever looked at a sunset, you know that the sun starts to disappear dark into the sky. So I'm giving it the illusion that the sky is dark, but not quite black. Okay, once I've got a little bit of purple on there, I'm gonna switch out to having red just on my brush. And we'll start going down. I always, whenever I'm blending colors, I have half my brush on one cut side and half on the clean part of the canvas. So right now, half my brush is on the purple. So I pull some of that purple in my red, and then the rest of my red is on this white canvas. And I just slowly move it, the brush down. Okay, now I want to give it some orange tones, so I'm going to switch out by adding some yellow on my brush. And again, I blend that right into my red. Now it's not as bright as I would like it, so I'm going to add some white to it. Now, if you like it like this, you can leave it, or I'm going to adjust my colors, give it some more orange tones to it. I just go back and forth between adding some reds and some yellows with it. I don't necessarily want that scope over there. 
that half moon, so I'm actually going to straighten my lines out. And I do that just by changing my brush stroke. I actually think I want some streaks of purple. There we go. Now it's kind of like the night is unfolding. Okay, now that I've got my sky done, now I'm going to work on my water. This time I'm switching out to blue. If you notice, I haven't cleaned off my brush because I'm actually going to mix in some of that purple into my blue because it's a nice theme. So I want my blue to be really deep and dark. I'm just alternating. I'm adding some blue in there and some red and giving it some purple streaks. Leave it right here. Let the water sit about an inch and a half off of the canvas because what I want to do is I want to get an illusion of a really deep dark beach at night. So I'm going to actually paint this in black and then I'm going to have a palm tree come up on the side, possibly on the other side, and then my dolphin would go sit right in the middle. So now that we've got our sunset and our water in, we can do our foreground. And this picture is simple. We're going to do our foreground in black. Okay, so before I start my foreground, I'm going to switch out to my one-half brush. It's a little bit smaller than the one-inch brush, and that way I can get some detail work in here. I'm just using straight black, so here we go. I'm going to start with the beach first. Now it just kind of looks like a black line, not bad, but I think I'm going to put some seagrass in there to give it help, give it that illusion. I'm going to switch out to my smaller brush, which is my little pencil brush. It's going to go whoop, whoop. Now that I've got some seagrass in there, I want to go ahead and add my palm tree. Again, I'm just working in black. I'm just going to go ahead and build up the trunk. The great thing about this painting is that you don't have to work too much in the detail. Just 
palm tree trunks aren't really smooth. They have those little pokey things off the side. So I'm making my brush strokes kind of dabbing it in there and giving it an illusion that the, they have that rough area. Now for the top of the palm tree, I switch out to my small one. And I always start with the stem. It's the long, woo! From there, we're going to add the palms on either side. And it's an outside curve, so it's a real loosely curved C on both sides. brush and some water to get thinner so I can get some more detail in there and pull that black. Okay, so I got my palm tree in there. You can always add in more palm. I even have one hanging down kind of towards me. Okay, there you go. Now we're going to go ahead for our dolphin. So the way I make the dolphin is I actually start with a round head up here. I'm going to make it shape. Now we don't have to worry about details again because we're just working in black. And then the nose comes down like that. And then its body arches. We got to see those fins. So it's a little circle, and then a longer body, and a tail. Let me just fill it in in black. And you could add some little specks of water coming out from it there you go you've got your own sunset beach picture with your dolphin please definitely subscribe comment below especially if there's a design or a technique that you want to see I'll be more than happy to show you this is Anne from the showing you how to do some simple and easy acrylic painting thank you so much and see you next time